Welcome to another video of Code Wrestling and in this video we are going to learn how to solve a numerical based on single channel queuing system problem. So in the previous video I have already explained how to solve this question in a very good detail. So if you have not watched that video then please go ahead and watch that video first because it will be a great asset to learn this problem. So in this problem also we have the same question which we have come across in the previous video but here the type is little bit different. In the previous video we they have given us random digit for arrival time and random digit for service time thus we have to undergo step 1 as well as step 3 but here they have already given us the inter arrival time and service time so we don't have to go through step 1 and step 3 we can directly perform step 2 and step 4 if you are not understanding what step I am talking about so please refer to the previous video the link of the video will be given in the description please please check out first. So since we know here what is the inter arrival time, what is the service time, next we will calculate the arrival time. So customer number, inter arrival time and arrival, three, this is the three columns required. Last time we had one random digit also that is not needed right now. So we will assign inter arrival time sequentially. If you remember then we never assign any inter arrival time for the first customer. We always assume that the arrival time for the first customer will be zero. So that's why we have assigned it at zero. Now for the second customer it will be like sequentially 3, 2, 6, 4, 4, 5, and 7. Now if you are wondering that how I have decided that how many customers should I take. So in this question it is not mentioned that how much customers are required for required in the simulation table. So we kind of assume it by taking the number of service time there, like there are how much 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there are 9 service time available so that means there must be 9 customers. So that's why I've assumed that customers are nine, there are nine customers. I've assigned inter arrival time. Now we will calculate arrival time for each customer. So obviously for the first customer arrival time is zero. So I've put it as zero. Now for the second customer inter arrival time is three. So the, what will be the arrival time? It will be zero plus three. That will be three. Now again for the third customer, the inter arrival time is two. So three plus two five. Similarly, five plus six eleven. Eleven plus four fifteen. Fifteen plus four nineteen, and so on. So in this way we have calculated the arrival time for each customers. Now moving on we will calculate the service time. So this is very easy in this case uh, give all the customer and assign each service to each of the customers sequentially. So here 45584, 45584 and so on like this you will assign a service time to each of the to each customers. Now next moving on to the simulation. So in the simulation table you know there are so many columns I have explained each and every column. Now we have how many customers 9 customers are available over here. We have calc already calculated, calculated the service time uh, arrival time and also calculated the service time beforehand only. Now we'll start the procedure. So obviously as soon as the customer arrive at arrival time 0 we can give the service. So TSB that is time service begins at 0. Customer didn't wait for any minute. So zero time service ends, it has provided a service of 4 seconds, so time service will end at 4. How much time did customer spend? So customer has spent how much time? 4 sec 4 minutes. So 4 minutes. Was server idle for even a minute? Not at all. 0. Now, now the arrival time of the second customer is 3, but the system was busy till 4. So obviously the service will begin at 4. So you will write 4. What will the waiting queue? Obviously for 1 minute, the customer waited for 1 minute, so it will be 1. Now when the service is ending, service is ending after 5 minutes. So 4 plus 5 that is 9. So time service ends at 9. How much time did customer spend? Customer spent 5, six, five minutes as well as, as well as it has waited for 1 minute also. So it will be 6. And what is the idle time? No idle time. System was continuously working. So 0. Now next, the customer arrival time is at 5 but the system is busy till 9. So the time service begins at 9. Waiting queue, obviously 9 minus 4, for 4 minutes the customer was waiting. Time service is ending at 9 plus 5, it has given a service of 5, so 9 plus 5, that is how much? 14. How much time did customer spend? Customer spent 5 seconds for 5 minutes for the service and also 4 minutes for the waiting. So 5 plus 4, 9. What is the idle time? No idle time, system was continuously working, so 0. Now the next customer arrives at arrival time 11. Still the system is busy till 14, so the time service will begin at 14. Waiting time, yes, 14 minus 11, 3, customer waited for 3 minutes and then time service ending at 14 plus 8 after giving a service of 8 minutes, the service will end, time service ends, so 14 plus 8, that is 22. 
how much time did customer spend so customer has spent 8 minutes for the service and 3 minutes for waiting for the service so 8 plus 3 that is 11 idle time of the server 0 system was continuously working now the next arrival time is 15 fifth customer arrives at 15 but the system is busy till 22 so the service will begin at 22 now how much the customer has waited customer has waited for 22 minus 15 minutes that is 7 minutes and then the service will end at 22 plus 4 that is 26 minutes 26 minutes now how much time did customer spend customer spent 4 minutes of service as well as 7 minutes of waiting time yeah the customer has waited too much so 11 now idle time 0 of course and now again the customer arrives at 19 but the system is busy till 26 so service begin at 26 yeah customer is waiting 26 minus 19 7 minutes how long the service will be provided for 6 minutes so the time service ends at 26 plus 6 that is 32 so how much time did customer spend has waited for 7 minutes as well as given a service of 6 so 7 plus 6 that is 30 was system idle no not even for a minute now after that the seventh customer arrives at 24 system is busy till 32 so 32 will be the time when service begins now after that what is the waiting time waiting time will be 32 minus 24 that is 8 now the time service will end at 32 plus 2 that is 34 how much time did customer spent 8 minutes for waiting and 2 minutes of service yeah so unfair right so 10 minutes and idle time of the server again 0 now the customer arrives at 32 service will begin at 34 it has waited for 2 minutes how long the service is there 3 so for 34 plus 3 37 time customer spent 2 minutes of waiting queue 3 minutes of service 5 and idle time of server is 0 now this uh, customer arrives at 39 minutes yeah so system was free on at 37th minute the customer is arriving at 39 so immediately you can provide the service customer didn't even have to wait 0 minutes and the service will end at 39 plus 4 that is 43 how much time did customer spent only this 4 minutes of service time was the server idle yes between 39 to 37 the server was idle so this is what your simulation table i hope you have understood it now we'll solve some of the problems like some of the calculations so what is the average waiting time so average waiting time can be just calculated by a simple formula total time customer waiting queue divided by total number of customer add all these values divide by 9 now next is calculating probability of waiting so number of customer who waited divide by 9 so you can see in this waiting queue there is except the first customer and the ninth customer all the customers were waiting so how many customer waited 7 out of 9 that is how much 0.78 now the next is average service time so just add all the service time divide by total number of customer that is 9 now probability of idle server so total idle time of server divided by total run time of simulation so this is the idle time server add all the values only two is there and then what is the total run and what is the total run time of simulation so the run time time service ends at 43 so total run time of the simulation is how much 43 like this like the server was on till 43 seconds 43 minutes 43 <clears throat> now average time between arrivals so sum of all time between arrivals divided by number of arrival minus 1 so you know this arrival time is calculated by adding all this inter arrival time so 39 divided by number of arrival minus 1 by minus 1 because we always assume that the first arrival time is at 0 so 9 minus 1 will take 7 8 sorry so 39 by 8 is equals to 4.875 now next is average waiting time of those who wait so here total number of customer who wait only first and except first and ninth all customer have waited so total number of customer who wait is 7 and just all this and add all this value so it will be 32 so that will be 4.57 32 by 7 that will be 4.57 another way of now average time customer spend in the system is total time customer spend in the system divided by total number of customer so this is the total time customer spend in the system divided by total number of customers 9 so each customer has to spend at least 8.12 minutes in the system you can also calculate it by the other way by adding average time customer spend in the queue plus average time customer spend in the, spend in the service so it will give you the same answer so i hope you guys have enjoyed our video you have learned how to solve this particular type of problem if you have any query you can write us at, write us at cotesling at gmail.com also you can write it in the comment section stay tuned with us do like subscribe share and comment you can also write us at cotesling at gmail.com so happy learning thank you